15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Plus 40 seconds, and we've just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle, taking Power our Starlink payload to its targeted deployment orbit. We are now throttling down and throttling back up in preparation for Max Q, which is coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees throughout ascent, so it's the largest structural load that the vehicle will see. You should hear that call in about five seconds. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's that call out for Max Q, confirmation that we've just passed through Max Q. Coming up in about a minute, we will have three events in rapid succession. The first of which being main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO. This is where all nine of our M1D engines shut off and slow the vehicle down for the following event, which is stage separation. And that's when the first stage separates from the second stage. And then finally, the lighting of our second stage MVAC engine, which we call SES-1, or second engine start one. Now, if you've been following our Starlink missions, you know that we've reduced the number of burns on the second stage of these missions from two burns down to just one single burn. This allows the second stage to provide 70% of the velocity needed for this mission, which allows the first stage to use less fuel and thus making first stage recovery much easier. So today we will again only be doing one burn of that second stage engine. Again, coming up in about 10 seconds are those three events, MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. Separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we've just had Miko and stage separation. That stage separation confirms the successful fifth use of our first stage booster. And you can see on your right screen that second stage MVAC engine lighting up and taking that second stage to its targeted orbit. We're just a few seconds away from fairing deploy. Again, this fairing was used once before on a very first Starlink mission. And there is the visual confirmation of fairing deploy. So this means that we've successfully reused this fairing. So now let's see.
That one went off the stage. This one's gonna come back down the lane. Oh, down this way. Yeah. It's carrying 60 Starlink satellites for eventual payload deploy. Uh, but we're gonna focus the next few minutes on the left-hand side of the screen with our first stage. Uh, right now, after stage separation, that first stage is boosting. It's still lighting up uh, without any engine power. It's hitting apogee just about now, and the next few seconds, it's going to start to free fall down to the Earth's surface. Seconds. It's known as our entry burn. We fire three of the nine Merlin engines um, in the opposite direction the way we're heading. Uh, we do this in order to slow down the vehicle about 25% uh, before we hit the dense part of the atmosphere. Uh, not performing this burn would put unnecessary strain on our first stage. just at about T plus six minutes. We're a little more than 45 seconds away from that engine burn. It only lasts about 10 seconds. step is our landing burn. It's about 90 seconds from now. Uh, in terms of velocity reduction, uh, with the remaining velocity, the, uh, the denser part of the atmosphere actually slows our Falcon 9 by 80%, and the landing burn uh, achieves just that last bit of reduction down to zero. on first stage recovery at the moment. Uh, at T plus nine minutes, a little bit less than that, our second stage, uh, its engine will cut off, will then confirm it's a good orbit, and will then begin the preparations for payload deploy. Start your turbo guides. We're about 10 seconds away from that landing mark call out. We'll sit tight and see if we can get any feed of that, that event. Stage 2 FTS is saved. We're still waiting on call out and confirmation for that first stage. We're still waiting on call out and confirmation for that first stage. Go 
our cutoff has bit before we end payload deploy. Signal. So we've achieved that good orbit for our second stage, uh, but we're not in the right position in that orbit yet. The uh, second stage is now going to coast in this orbit for a few minutes. During this time, you're going to see it. The second stage is going to start to spin along its central axis. This gives the Starlink satellites the momentum they need to space themselves out over time after they deploy. Think of it as if you were hanging on the edge of a merry-go-round and you jumped off, and it slings you out. Uh, we use this natural deployment, and it prevents us from having to install complex and heavy, heavy separation mechanisms on each and every satellite. So while we wait for that position to be achieved, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll return at T plus 13 minutes, 45 seconds. Starlink satellites to their deployment. 